The following video is my setup guide on how to set up my furniture and home asset pack for Blender. So when you purchase the product, you'll get the following video in the product files. Or you can also watch the setup guide video right here on YouTube. And if you'd like to purchase the asset pack, I'll have links in the description to where you can purchase the product, and I'll also have a link in the description to the product trailer video. So I hope the video is helpful, and thank you for watching. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up and use my furniture and home asset pack for Blender. So I'll show you how to set up the models in the asset browser so that you can open the asset browser in any of your projects and access all the models. So whether you've purchased the full pack with the 250 models, or if you've purchased just one of the smaller packs with 50 models each, or if you've just downloaded the free demo of this product, this video will work for all versions of the product. So when you purchase the product, you'll get two different files. You're going to get a zip file of the furniture and home asset pack, or if you've purchased one of these smaller packs with just 50 models, then you'll get a zip file with just those models. And you'll also get this tutorial video on how to set up the models as an asset library. So just download the product files and then you can locate to wherever you've downloaded them. You can see here I'm in my downloads folder. So I'm just gonna select both of these files and I will right click and I'm just gonna cut the files. And then you can just locate to wherever you wanna store the files on your computer. So for an example here, I've added a folder called Blender on my desktop, and I can right click and I can just paste the files. So then I can right click on the zip file and I can click on extract here and it will extract all the files. And once the folder has been extracted, if you want to, you can just delete the zip file. I'm just going to go inside the furniture and home asset pack. So in the extracted folder, if you purchase the full version, then you'll get five different Blender files with all of the different assets. Or if you've purchased one of the smaller packs with 50 models, then you'll just get whichever Blender file you've purchased. Now you're also going to get the blenderassets.cats text file, and Blender just uses this file to organize the assets in the catalog. Then you'll get another folder with all of the textures for the models, and then you'll get another folder with the asset browser images. So you can see I have all the rendered images for the asset browser. So you can now open up Blender and let's now add the assets in the asset browser. So let's click here on edit and we'll go to the preferences. Then you want to click right down here on file path and you want to scroll down and you can see that there is the asset libraries right here. Now I've already added some other asset libraries. Here's my ultimate procedural material pack. That's another product which I created. But to add a new asset library, let's click on this plus icon. And Blender's file browser will appear and you can just locate to the folder where you have the assets. So here I am on the desktop and I went into the Blender folder and I'm going to go into the Furniture and Asset Pack folder. Now you just want to go inside this folder where the Blender files are located. You can't see them but the Blender files are right there and then you can click on Add Asset Library. And then right here on the name you can double click on this and you can rename it if you want to. And then you can either click on the Save Preferences button or if you have the Auto Save Preferences on it'll automatically save the preferences. So you can now just close Blender user preferences. So you can now open the asset browser just by clicking here in the corner when the crosshair appears and you can drag out and then you can click right up here to change the editor type and you can change this to the asset browser. And then you can just locate to the furniture models. So this is my ultimate procedural material pack. That's my other product with materials. But I'm going to click right here and then I can choose the furniture and home asset pack and here are all the models. I can also click on this little arrow and drag down and then there's going to be some settings here. So if I click right here I can change the size so I could make this very tiny if I want to see many more of the assets. So if you press the T key that'll open up the side panel here and if you click on all you can see this will show you all of the assets. Or you can just choose the different categories so there's the bathroom and bedroom, there's the dining room and the kitchen and the living room and the office. So you can now open up the asset browser in any of your projects and quickly access the models. And then you can just click on one of the models and you can drag it into your 3D scene and then let go and it's going to drop it in as an asset. Now when you first drag in the asset, you can see that if I try to select different parts of the model or hit the tab key to go into edit mode, I can't actually edit this asset. So if you don't plan on editing this asset, then you can leave that how it is. However, I'll press Ctrl Z to undo that. So I'm now going to click and drag again to drop in the bathroom sink. And right after I add the bathroom sink, I'm going to click on the add collection tab right here. And then you can click on the instance button. And now that I've turned the instance off, I can close this and now I can select 
select the controller object and I can move it around so I can scale it and rotate it and move it around. And then I can also select each individual object. And if for some reason I want to edit the objects, I can hit the tab key to go into edit mode. And now I can continue to drop in other assets. And right here again, if I open up the add collection, because the instance is turned off, I can select each individual object and I can hit the tab key to go into edit mode and edit it if I want to. Now, if you want to add in the same asset multiple times, if I drag this cabinet one and just drop it here, you can see that there is a problem because we've added in the asset a second time. So I'll press Control Z to undo that. So to fix this problem, you can click here on Follow Preferences and you can change this to Append instead. So I can now drop this in and you can see we can add in the same asset multiple times. Now each asset is in its own collection. So if you go right up here to the outliner, I can click on the arrow to see everything in the collection and I can just minimize these and you can see there's the bathroom sink and then the cabinet and then the other cabinets that we've added. And then if I want to add another asset, I can click on the collection here, make sure that's selected, and then I can drag in some other things like I'll drag in this bed and I can move the bed up so I can see it. And you can see now it's been added as a collection. And if I open these up, you can see there's all of the different objects in the bed collection. Now let's say I want to move some models to a specific spot in the scene. So I'm just going to click and drag and drop these soda cans right up here, but they may not drop in exactly where you want them. So a really cool trick that you can use is you can select the controller object and then what you can do is you can hold down the shift key and right click. So holding down the shift key and right clicking is going to drop the 3D cursor on a surface. So you can now press shift S, you can move your mouse up here in the pie menu to selection to cursor and then those models are going to be dropped right there to that cursor. So I can do this again, so I'm just going to drop the candles in right here and I'm just going to select the candles controller, this will control the candles, then I can shift and right click to drop the 3D cursor right there, and then I can press shift S, move my mouse up and let go, and now the candles have been dropped right on the cabinet. Now I have Blender set up to use the right click select because I used Blender back when that was the default, so I just learned Blender that way. So if you have Blender set up to right click select like I do, then once you add an asset, you can just left click and that is going to place the 3D cursor. So I'll just left click right here and then I have the coffee controller object selected. I'll press shift S, move my mouse up and let go and it's going to drop it right there on that table. So that's just a nice little trick for quickly placing assets in your scene. Now if you ever want to clear an object's transforms, you can select the controller object and then you can press Alt R and Alt G and Alt S and that is going to clear the location, the rotation and scale. So now the sync object is back in the very center of the Blender scene. So that is how you set up and use my furniture and home model pack for Blender. So thank you for purchasing and I hope you enjoy the model pack.